All right, for this problem, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to find another composition of functions. Again, remember, composition of functions is just another way for us to combine functions. So our first composition that we're going to try to do is f of f of g, which is the same thing as really saying f of g of x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my g of x function, which is x to the sixth, into my other function, my f of x function. So my f of x function is really x to the two-thirds, but instead of plugging the x in there, I'm going to plug in what g of x is. So I'm really going to plug in my g of x function. So I'm going to plug my g of x function into my f of x function. Well, g of x is equal to what? x to the sixth. So I plug in x to the sixth. And then whenever you have a power raised to a power, you multiply your fractions. So therefore, that gives you x to the sixth times two thirds. You can change that to a um, to a fraction. Six times two is twelve. Divided by three is going to give you x to the fourth. Now, if let's go ahead and do golf. There's no l, but I just like to always say g of f. That is g of f of x. So now what we're going to do for this one is we're going to plug in, uh, we're going to take our, our g of x function to the sixth power. Well, again, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in f of x into there. So you're going to plug in f of x into your g of x function. Well, remember, g of x is raised to the sixth. So here, you say, well, it's going to be x to the two-thirds. You guys should know that it doesn't matter how you multiply 2 thirds times 6 or 6 times 2 thirds. That's going to give you x to the fourth as well. So therefore, both problems actually, it doesn't matter how I use composition for this problem. Either way, it's going to give me x to the fourth. And that's how you do composition. What is the domain? Didn't have that thing. Um, well, if we look at the domain, are we seeing anything that is um, going to be non-defined for our domain? Right? We're not we're not divided by a zero, right? There's no rational, and there's no root, right? So it's gonna be all real numbers. 